leave the apartment. Boom. Done. That's it. The problem is, you have to wait until that's actually visible, okay? So how do we go about doing that? Well, let's go back to... Let's go back to El Tosca here, and we will take the name of the application. Or it's called Wait a Moment, isn't it? And it's Tree Tree 678. So let's create a folder called Tree Tree 678. Tree Tree 678, and it's called Wait a Moment. Cascading style sheet makes it all capitals, in case you're wondering. Let's just do a little scan now. Scan the application. The agent is starting, and we're starting XScan. And it's going to be HTML, so we'll leave it at that. Let's scan it. And let's click, let's select on screen. Click make it condensed. And we're going to go the calculate button and the send button. We don't need to play around with this thing, checking percentages or anything like that. Finish the scan. Advanced and close. So if we look inside our modules, we see we have, there it is, we have calculate and send. Let's take a copy of that and create a new test case. Same name. Is it planned? No, we're actually working on it right now. So let's drag that module in there. I'm wondering if we're going to need it twice. Maybe drag, drag it in there twice. We might need it twice. Let's see what happens. So we need to click on that and for visual drama, we're going to do an actual click on the calculate. This is this button here, okay? That's the input. We won't do anything with this just yet. So what happens if I click on calculate? It's going to do this. So we need to wait on this thing to appear. So maybe if we set enabled or exists, uh, enabled. Let's say enabled is equal to true. Um, and then, again, with the visual drama, we can click on that. So that didn't work. Let's see what happens. Oh. When I review people's automation, I see a lot of clicks, and they are bad practice. Now look at that, it didn't work. Jesus, don't you hate when that happens? It's always when people are looking. So what happened? Control for action send is not steerable. Isn't that interesting? Hang on a second, it says it's not steerable. Well, we're actually supposed to, we're doing an input here. We don't want an input, we want a, a wait on. Let's try it again. Visual drama, AKA bad practice. Drunken mouse. And then we don't verify that that exists, okay? Or have we? No, we just clicked on send. I do have a little function in here in my reusable folder. We need that as well. And then we don't need that. So let's just go back to the module itself. Take that out. We don't need it. Hit me with the next riddle. We want to verify that that exists. Visible is equal to that annoys me. I don't know why it doesn't give you the true drop down. It would be nice if it did that. If somebody could explain to me why it doesn't do that, I'd be very happy. And then we verify that it is visible. It's there right now. Let's see if that works. That was quick. 
Alt tab to go back to the window. Verification was successful. Great. Okay. So, let's see if it runs from the top. F6. Oops, a daisy. Hang on. Oops. Things are not going to plan. Let me kill, kill that off, okay? Alt F4. Okay, run it from the top. Calculate. Click on calculate or X on calculate. Visible exists is equal to true. We wait on this. It's just me or is the screen moving up and down a little bit? Click on send. Hit me with the next riddle, verify it exists. We know we've passed. So hit escape. Control Alt Tab back to that window. We know that passed. Alt F4. Don't be one of those people who uses the mouse all the time. Learn how to use your keyboard shortcuts. Now it looks pretty. Awful. Never use clicks unless you have to. Change that to an X. I like the fact that it's a nice pretty click. Um, but X is best practice. Let's try it one more time with best practice in mind. The visual drama is now gone and it has been replaced with best practice. We click on calculate. We're now waiting on visible to be true on the send button. Then we did a verification on hit me with the next riddle. Alt tab to go back to Tosca. Everything's okay. Alt F4 to close the window. Now a lot of you would think that that's done. Okay? And if that came back to me now as please review my automation, it would uh, it would go back with some feedback. And you may ask, well, what would that feedback actually be? Well, the feedback would be the following, okay? In a test, I expect to see at a minimum three folders. Preconditions process post conditions you might ask yourself why do I have to do this the reason being it isn't good enough to go into production unless you do stuff like this now we don't want to have these test steps like that they are absolutely awful and if I come back myself in even a week's time I won't know what this thing is trying to do so we need to say click on click on calculate and wait on the send button to be enabled. Yeah, that's literally what it says here. The next one. Uh, click on the send button and then you solve the riddle next riddle. Verify the um, success button is visible. You don't have to say is appeared, you can actually say is visible. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, so that looks nicer in terms of reading, readability. Reads like a proper test, right? Preconditions. Let's go in here, do a control T, and open UR URL. What are we going to open? Can you remember? We're going to open that. Okay. What are we going to open it in? Chrome, Internet Explorer. We need to say browser. Because I'm using Internet Explorer today. Okay. The process. Well, this is the process, isn't it? Put that in there. What's the post condition? We are supposed to leave the system. We are supposed to leave the system in the state in which we found it. 
which hopefully isn't a complete mess and a cluster F. So in here we're going to do a close browser. We'll do Control T, close browser. What's the name of the browser? Well, let's try Santa's obstacle course. Asterisk to turn into a flexible, regular expression. Let's see if we can close the browser because we already have it open. I expect this to disappear. Yep, it disappeared. And that worked. Let's see if we can open it. F6. Yep, that worked. Let's run it from the top. Let's close that browser. Okay. Alt F4. Standard Windows shortcut to close the windows. Alt F4. Don't let me catch you using a mouse. Especially over a laggy remote desktop profile to Chennai. Okay? Alt F4. Um, I'm going to think you've got learning difficulties if you can't memorize that shortcut. Because it's been a standard for nearly 30 years. Okay, F6. Let's see how it goes. We used an X, which is Event Driven Direct Steering, to click on Calculate. We're now waiting on the Send button to be visible. See how quickly that happens. And that is a satisfactory test. And we've got one Verify in there, which isn't a lot, but it is a fully formed test case. What happens next with this? Well, you send it to Review to somebody you trust uh, and somebody you work well with. And hopefully it looks something like this, in which case it's perfect. And once the review, possibly several rounds of review, have come and gone, you then set it to completed. And that completed is important because when it comes to looking at your requirements module and how things are generally going in terms of progressing the release towards production, you get a lot of nice graphing details on that, okay? visual dashboard which everybody appreciates so that's that done I hope you like it till the next one 13 minute recording okay see you guys and ladies bye